today your girl is going to transform this credenza if you don't remember i purchased this credenza oh gosh over a year and a half ago and guess what i only paid 25 dollars. this is a mid-century modern credenza and today i'm going to show you how i'm going to transform it so this is going to be your before look at it and it is the holiday time and i wanted it to be bright and pretty for the holidays so i'm going to transform it i did not know what i wanted i had to sit on it for a while before i decided what i wanted to do now when you get a piece like this this is something that i will keep forever and probably pass down to one of my daughters or grandchildren you never know whenever that comes but what I'm letting you know is don't rush this has been sitting here in this wood color that really doesn't match anything in my living room but I was determined to wait until I found out what I wanted and I think I got the perfect colors that will match my living room and pop really well in this corner so you guys are going to see the transformation it's going to be a sped up transformation I'm not going to make this a long drawn out video I'm going to do the actual transformation a DI transformation and you're going to see everything I'm using I'm going to show you all that in the next clip and then I'm just going to go through and get this thing done. All right. So enjoy. Thumbs up. Make sure you share the video. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure your notifications are on. Because even after the holidays, I will be sharing videos throughout the week. Surprise lives and surpri surprise videos. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next clip. So this is the stuff that I'm going to be using for the DIY. On the right hand corner of the credenza, you will see four silver shiny legs. Those I ordered from eBay, um, wow, around the time that I purchased the credenza, I ended up ordering those, and I think those are like four inches tall. I don't want them to be too tall, but I want it to show that it's up off the floor. I have my Black & Decker sander. I have small paint brushes because I'm going to do the inlay of the doors with the black, and as you see, I have interior black paint in the back by Color Place, and that is in flat, and then I have satin white interior paint which is like a grab and go by um color place as well i have some sanding blocks and then i have paint pyramids which are little things that you put like the doors and stuff on so they can sit up high and you can paint all around them without worrying about having to flip them so i have those and then i have multiple brushes four different brushes from harbor freight and all of those brushes were less than a buck okay so if you ever need brushes soft brushes good brushes try harbor freight then i also got this free tarp from harbor freight when you make a purchase this i think is this month they're doing the tarps every 30 days i believe it's a new sale and you get 20 percent off of your items so i bought all those brushes and i got two tarps and i paid less than four bucks for all of that so these are the things i'm going to be using and now you're going to just watch me get this credenza done all tongue tied all right guys So guys, as you can see, I am using a small brush, which is something I could recommend for you because you have more control when it's an area that has small crevices or a small space. It is great to have smaller brushes. So always get different size brushes. As I said earlier in the video, Harbor Freight has lots of different brushes and they are very affordable and I like them because they really don't shed. A lot of cheaper brushes will shed into your project and that is something that is irritating because that means the hair dries into your project and when you pull it away it releases the paint so make sure that you try to get brushes that have a decent quality i'm not saying you have to spend a whole bunch of money but make sure you have decent quality now it is winter time that is why i could not spray paint this now spray painting would have been a better option as far as time and as far as the uh amount of you know work needing to be done on it spray paint is always going to be a better option when it comes to that now painting is also great option actually it's it's more recommended with wood furniture over spray painting but you know how that goes so because i couldn't do the spray painting i decided to go with painting and that was only because it was too cold outside and when you spray paint you have to have certain temperatures or the paint will not adhere or stick and it will peel off and then you basically wasted your time so that is why 
I decided to go with painting my piece and I am loving it. You guys may have seen this in one of the videos where it is completely finished, but I also said that I would share the transformation. So I end up finding the video and I'm getting it up for you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them below. All right guys, so this is what it looks like after two nice coats that I let dry a couple hours in between and then I went on to find me a comfortable spot to get these doors painted and I painted them with a contrasting black and white as you can see and I love how it looks. So let's move on and finish the remaining of the credenza. All right guys, so these were the chrome legs and I decided to go with black and it's a shiny gloss and this is the actual spray paint that I use, semi-gloss, and this is what they came out looking like, like that, and I think that is really cute, I think it's going to be a nice contrast from the actual white shelf, which for some reason was showing up so yellow last night, but it's still doing that again, don't know why, but we're getting ready to put these legs on, put it together, and show you the end results. So it's time to put the legs on and I got some wood screws and I'm going to place these on the unit in all four corners. As you see, I removed that little plastic stopper because it was stopping me from screwing the legs flush. I got some wood screws and I pre-drilled holes. You want to always pre-drill holes in your wood. That way it doesn't split and ruin the wood and cause problems that are even harder to try to fix later. So just always pre-drill your holes before you put your legs on or anything that you're doing with wood. Try to pre-drill the holes. So I did all four sides and then I'm going to call the hubby so we can set it up and you guys can see what it looks like. All right, guys, so those holes you see are from the previous person who had this. It used to be an entertainment center, and those holes allow for the cords to go in the back of the unit, but they will be hidden. So, but I love it. I am so in love with this. When I seen this piece, I knew the potential that it had, and I was so, so adamant. When hubby was like, I like this one better, I said, you know what? We're going to grab this one, and for $25, you cannot beat that. So, yes, this is the outcome of me transforming a $25 secondhand piece into a beauty and this is what it looks like with my decor back on top of it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to my channel please join the reviver family and become one of my revivers all we give is positivity over here and we revive lives with positivity and if all right guys i'm so excited i love that i made it my own it has brightened up the space tremendously guys don't be afraid to grab secondhand items i have a video that i recorded a long time ago that i will still be sharing to show you how i pick out great secondhand items that can last many 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 more years to come i hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned because we will have more of these on this channel 
This is where I am on social media. Be sure to check me out, but also go check out my other channel. The CPR Vibe link is in the description box where we talk about all things reviving our lives. There are many playlists and how to's on this channel that can help you save your coins. You can also see my renovation journey. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you are alerted of all the new videos. Later Gators.